वेलकम टू एपिसोड वन ऑफ ब्लॉक चेन फॉर ऑल ब्लॉक चेन इज एन इनोवेटिव टेक्नोलॉजी दैट हैज पोटेंशियल टू ब्रिंग फंडामेंटल चेंज टू द वे वी बिल्ड आवर एप्लीकेशन फॉर ब्रिंगिंग कंपेटिटिव एडवांटेजेस टू आवर बिजनेस इंप्रूविंग आवर कम्युनिटीज एंड मेकिंग आवर सिटीज एज स्मार्ट सिटीज even governments in many countries are exploring possible uses of blockchain in public services to gain the political edge that is why i always think that learning about blockchain is very important to all of us let us start with an example of blockchain for instance in the city if street light is broken then sensors would trigger the notification to certified electrician in the nearby zone and the electrician quickly fixes the street lights and get paid through the micro deal that is triggered through smart contracts all this is possible through blockchain technology only that is why i always say that blockchain is for all of us as blockchain technology impacts lives of all of us first thing that we must understand here is that blockchain is the result of convergence and integration of many technologies that include distributed databases transaction blocks and time stamps network security and disintermediation let us look more closely into the concepts that are involved in blockchain first of all we must understand that blockchain is a database but unlike other databases blockchain is a distributed database in distributed database each participant has an updated copy of the database it enables participants to verify and authenticate users transactions and add those transactions in their own copy of the database and then once this is done the copy of the database with all other participants gets updated automatically so blocks of transactions that may contain something like 10 megabytes of data gets added to the database by the quickest participant in simple words blockchain is a continuously growing list of records called blocks in addition to transaction data every block in the blockchain also contains a link to the previous block and a time stamp in other words in blockchain database transactions are recorded chronologically so to sum up i would say that databases have been around for ages however for the first time in the history these can be updated across multiple participants organizations and computer networks simultaneously through the use of this interesting technology called blockchain technology another technology that is network security is involved in blockchain so blockchain technology uses encryption techniques the methods of coding and disguising data to keep it secure and revealing those through decryption uh, so that information can only be viewed by the intended participants and nobody else this is achieved through mathematical techniques like hash algorithms and uh, encryption transaction which are practically impossible to break brings trust in database systems called blockchain in coming episode we will talk more about uh, network security used in blockchain technology another interesting feature of 
blockchain technology is disintermediation disintermediation of blockchain technology allows transactions to take place without the need of middlemen markets or intermediaries so disintermediation is the key to any blockchain whereby a consensus algorithm eliminates the need of a trusted third party intermediation since all participants of blockchain that participate in network have equal rights and obligations all information is securely stored and no guarantor is required this makes the system transparent which is the key to create a trust in the blockchain system so thanks for joining today and in episode 2 we will talk more about distributed databases and episode 3 we will talk more about network security thanks for joining 